Hey, so I just got back from a Meet Your Candidates uh, event here in the area. It was the it was a style where they were up on a panel. There was a moderator. They asked questions. They all answered the question. There's no clapping. There's no cheering. You know, you just hear their positions, and then at the end they disperse, and you can ask them questions. Um, so they got to education funding. Should we raise it, leave it the same, or drop it? I heard a lot of talk about, oh, no, no, we don't need more funding. Let's just, you know, let's make the classroom sizes bigger. Uh, we just got to hold the teachers accountable. Are they spending the money responsibly? You know, this, that, whatever. Um, that disturbed me, one. My son is the opposite of a bigger class. Um because he has autism. So no one mentioned anything about special needs issues at the schools. Um, and I'll tell you, at Oliver's school, that fundamental skills class needs help. Um, so anyways, after they dispersed, um, I also noticed that, you know, everyone was just tribing up, you know, nobody's mingling Everyone's just finding their candidate and hanging out by their candidate, right? So I decide, you know what? I'm going to mingle. I want to know. We can't have a good society unless we have consensus, right? So we need to hear everyone's point of view. So I go to Melissa Ballard. You know, you see her signs all over town. She probably has the most name recognition. So I thought, you know, she touted how she, education is, you know, she loves education. It's her so important, you know, whatever. And, uh, you know, her friend started Head Start, the whole thing, right? So I'm like, she probably has some thoughts about this. I'm going to reach across and I'm going to see what her thoughts are about this. I say, hey, classroom size is getting bigger. That's the opposite of what my son needs. My son has autism. Can you speak to that? And she said, oh, yeah, you know, I'm actually friends with the lady who started Pingree. I was like, okay, what, that $30,000 autistic school? Wow, okay. And then she says, oh, yeah, well, um, it's definitely an issue. Where does, what school does your son go to? And I tell her. And she says, oh, we'll just call the superintendent. Just call the superintendent, just call the district offices, you could, you know, with his name, you could figure out, you know, make up an appointment, and then when you go to that appointment, you should come with three ideas, three concrete ideas about how to change the dynamic. And beside the point, I do have a lot of ideas about how to change the dynamic, but that's beside the point. One, I just got done telling you I have a son with autism. If you know anything about special needs issues, you would understand that me even showing up to this meeting was an obstacle for me and my family. I'm trying to be a good citizen by showing up to talk to you, the person who is going to be making the laws that my son has to abide by, and you're telling me, Oh, you go home, do a bunch of research about the healthcare system. What prevents a, you know, a private tutor from attending a public school with a child? You go figure out what the funding issues are with the special needs department at a public school. I'm sorry, that's your job. That's why I'm talking to you. And basically, what you just told me was, I care about education for all these normal kids who don't need extra help, who can do just fine in society and can just do fine with the way things are. This other part of education that's a lot hairier and a lot uglier and a lot harder, the special needs side, I don't think about that side. So you go home and figure out what you're going to do about that. So. If you can't already tell, I will not be voting for Melissa Ballard. Autism is a real problem in Utah. We have higher rates than the national average, and that's just one special need. So, uh, we got to find someone better than that. And that's all I have.